Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to this CodeRage mobile session about integrating feeds into your iOS applications written with uh, Delphi. My name is Marco Cantu. I'm the Delphi product manager at Embarcadero Technologies. In the past, I used to write books on Delphi and was a trainer and consultant on that technology since the early days of the product. My contact information is below. My blog is still hosted separately, and it's my Twitter account and my email at embarcadero.com. So the focus of this session is to look at the code of a rather simple Delphi mobile application focused on managing RSS feeds. Uh, an RSS feed is basically an XML data structure. There is an overall structure, but then there are variations. There is RSS 1, 2, there is Atom. There are actually extended attributes that not all feeds have, but overall it has a common model. How do you access an RSS feed? Just by making an HTTP call. So overall, using a Delphi RSS feed is a simple example of building a Delphi REST client. And specifically, I'm going to show this example on Delphi XC4 for iOS. So how do we handle an HTTP request? Well, simplest way is just to drop a, in the HTTP component. And that's it. If you need HTTPS, things get slightly more complicated because beside the components, you actually need to download a compiled version of the OpenSSL libraries or download one. There are some instructions on my blog. Um, and then you can compile the OpenSSL into your existing application and use any HTTPS servers. For the XML processing, of course, there could be multiple ways. XML is just a string, but it's quite straightforward to use the TXML document. Specifically for this demo, I've used XML interfaces. I'll show you the actual code. And then, of course, if you want to have code that works on mobile, you cannot use the Microsoft XML, which is the default on Windows and in the VCL but you might want to use a DOM, which is the native Pascal DOM hosted at philo.d in Germany. And of course, being written in Delphi, we have been able to recompile it for the mobile platform. The other option, but actually not for this specific RSS client, but for REST clients in general, if they return JSON, you can use the BDX JSON unit, even if that's outside of, of Database Express, or there are other third-party JSON processing uh, units for Delphi. So not many slides in this session. It's mostly focused around a demo of this mobile application. So here is it, the Delphi feeds program within the IDE. And as I mentioned, I'm just using two components. One is in the HTTP. The thing that you have to enable here is the ability to handle redirects because the URL I'm going to use is not natively implemented, but there is a redirect behind the scenes. So if you don't handle redirects, you end up with no, with an error. And there is not much else here in terms of customization for the XML document. Again, ADOM XML, which is the default on iOS, and I've let everything else standard. OK, so this is the structure. And when you hit, there are actually two options. You can read Delphi feeds or Embarcadero blocks which is a slightly different access RSS structure. When you hit the button, I'm just calling refresh feeds and then passing the reference to the specific feed you want to handle. And in some cases, there are 
create some alternative code, for example. Well, actually, all of the initialization is here, and then everything else is, is standard. So if it's Delphi feeds, I'm going to use this URL. If it's a bracket error, I'm going to use this second URL. And then I have two different list boxes to update and two different labels to update with uh, status information. So how do we you access the actual feed remotely? Just by doing in the HTTP GET and passing the URL. That's it, quite straightforward. And then we can load the document in the, the XML in the XML document component and activate it. At this point, we could navigate through the code and just handle it directly. And what I'm doing here is looking for the node called channel. And then under the node called channel, going through all of the child nodes. And if the child node is item, then it's the item I want to handle. Specifically, I get the title, the publication date, and then the author is actually saved in two different fields. I mean, both fields are there, but they might not be filled. So either I go for the author field or the creator field, depending on the RSS feed I'm using. And finally, I'm grabbing the URL from the from the link. The idea behind this last statement was to add a third page to the demo, opening the URL into a web browser. But that's something I haven't actually added to the code. So I'm manually populating the list box. For the list box, I'm using a specific structure with uh, items and details. This is set up in the in the list itself. So if we go look at the list, and this is one of the two list objects, we can see that there is a specific item, st item style for new items, which is list box item bottom detail. So what I can do now is open up the target platform. I want to target the simulator. And I'm going to compile and run this application in the iOS uh, simulator. So here is the simulator. Let's check the Delphi feeds. And let's, and you can scroll around. Let's look at the Embarcadero blocks and equally load the blocks. Of course, information about update one and also registration for this conference and more information about our products and the activities and the event that are taking place. And what notice when you select one of the items, the URL is actually displayed, but there's no automatic link to open the page, which wouldn't have been too difficult to uh, implement. So that's the idea of the demo. You can actually easy, easily build many other clients for cloud services for other REST services. But if you have any specific question, just ask now or send me an email at marco.cantu at embarcadero.com. There's your blog. Oh, that was yesterday. Excellent. First question is, is it possible to do the same RSS feed example on Windows with C++ Builder? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but I haven't done it personally, but I'm pretty sure this is completely doable. Uh, the components and the and the and the features that I'm using are also available in C++ Builder.
And this example started as I originally wrote it for the VCA, then I moved it to FireMonkey, and then moved it to FireMonkey Mobile. Uh, so it's the same code that it used uh, years ago. Yeah, and the Delphi version you could build for Windows, Mac, and iOS. We have Project Indie for everything. And same for C++ yes. Builder on Windows and Mac. And then ultimately, uh, when we get to Android for either Delphi or C++, hey, as long as you have the network connection, right, yeah. on your device. You can get there. Uh, the other question was why all why oh this is the coded site and I this is why all the uh, red un error underlines. Yeah, possibly when you compile it, they will go away. But this the the code structure it's based on interfaces. It's slightly complicated, and somehow our our parser doesn't understand the same things the compiler understands. Uh, which is something we want to improve, uh, but uh, there are scenarios in which you have this this false uh, indications of something uh, which ends up being correct. Where's the source? That's a good point. Uh, I don't think it's available. I can make it available though, <laughs> and I'll do it. Um, okay. Yeah, I I might. There might be. I need to double check. Uh, that might be the source of the original version, I mean, not the iOS one. But again, the code was extremely similar. I mean, it took me very, very little to uh, to port this. I need to look for it on the web. Uh, okay. And yeah, if I find it, I'll, I'll send the link to the... So it's not part of the sample? Session. It's not part of the FireMonkey mobile sample? Um, I, SourceForge is having a problem here, so... Doesn't look like it. No, it's... I think it was one we, we used this an internal demo. I don't think it made okay. to the to the uh, to the official samples. Um, yeah, no source for just having some kind of slowness problem. Okay, uh, and then Michael is saying, "I love Marco's printed books. Anything coming for XE4?" Uh, not really. I'm think I'm trying to get a few things out, but it's. Uh, I don't have as much time as I had before. <laughs> He's so, been busy uh, when he since he joined us back in November. Right? I think it was yeah. November of last year during Code Rage. I think right at the beginning of Code Rage Delphi, Code Rage Seven. Yeah, Delphi. yeah, yeah. I started working for Embarcadero November first. Yeah, I've actually found the the link uh, answer to that. Um, older VCL version code is. There, yeah, you can post it. To... Yeah, because it's kind of a rather, rather long uh, link sent to all. So, yeah, that's the that's the link in the in the Q and A session. I still have this all. Actually, this link is going to be valid till the end of the month because that hosting repository is going away. But uh, but for now, it's available. the The difference between that code and the current code is that that was using a specific uh, DOM feature that's available only in Microsoft XML DOM. So when I moved it from uh, to the Mac, actually, before I moved it to iOS, I had to go back to a more general uh, XML processing technique, uh, which is the one in the in the new demo. So Adam, Adam, where does that come from, Marco? Uh, it's just an RSS format. Uh, well, yeah, it's good. It's I don't know. I mean, it's it's. It's a data format that is being used to to um, to move to move yeah f things like feeds uh, around. Uh, RSS when RSS started, it was very specifically RSS one was very like roughly defined, uh, and so they moved to someone decided to that it was rubbish and they moved to a more formal XML structure which was Atom, but then they decided, no, why well, change completely? So they bring along RSS2, which is as formal as Atom, whatever. So we end up with, with two standards for, okay. for, uh, for feeds. Yeah, it says here, it stands for Alternative Document Object Model. EDOM is, is Alternative Document Object. It's, it's, a, it's a DOM completely written in Pascal uh, some years ago by... Um, by a person that I actually uh, exchanged several emails with, his um, he did it because he needed to do uh, to parse text, so he's, that's why he hosted by a philosophy <laughs> site in Germany, which is kind of unusual for for uh, Delphi source code. But uh, whatever he was doing, 
uh, string manipulation through through XML and wrote this this engine, which is actually quite powerful. And the good thing is being written completely in Pascal, it really works across every platform we can get to. We had to tweak it a little for for a mobile, uh, for Arc support, uh, but it was actually quite straightforward to move it over to uh, to iOS, and we're certainly going to have the same also on, on Android. And and the and again the different feed protocols RSS is one right that's the yeah real. RSS is one there are two versions one O and two O and then there is uh, Atom, which yeah. is slightly more uh, clean and robust, uh, but the, in in the end the problem is that uh, each of the you always get specific extensions, so it's, there isn't really a complete standard. There, are, there is a standard, but then there are lots of extensions and variations to the standard. Uh, like I have a version of the same application that uh, handles um, uh, that handles multiple fields, but for each field, you have to like tweak the source code just a little to make that specific feed uh, work, which is kind of odd, but that's it. So. Uh, Excellent. No, oh, and the and again the code I've been demoing the code too. It's it's really straightforward. He's and Marco actually uses the the tab you select to help uh, set the right in the to reuse in the code the same code regardless of the different views you're looking at for the different yeah. feeds. So. Okay, Marco. What we'll do is just uh, take a couple minute break and we'll switch. We'll come back to you again on migrating your Windows VCL applications to iOS and to, okay. and to FireMonkey in general using the the uh, Mita VCL to FireMonkey converter, the latest version, right? Yes, that's the next session. Okay. <laughs>